Hello and welcome to the weekly try where this week we will be picking each other's outfits. One of the things that I like about living with Aaron is that I will come out with an outfit and I say does this work and usually you say no <laughs> and I go back in and find something else. It's been very helpful for my style so I'd be actually quite interested to see what you do with what I have available in my wardrobe. There are a few things that we need to take into account when picking the outfits this week. That's because we've got a few events, so I have a suit day at work. I don't work in a corporate atmosphere at all, so it's going to be a bit of a novelty. Also, I don't own a suit, so good luck with that one. <laughs> I'll be working from home one day of the week, so you get to pick a nice cozy outfit for me. Yeah, and that should make things a little easier, seeing as you've got one pair of shoes to work with. Shut up! <laughs> and then we're also going to go to Secret Cinema together, and it's based on the movie Blade Runner, so we need to have clothes that are based around those themes in those movies. I have no idea what that means. Yeah, we probably should watch the movies. So let's see how this goes. So for this first outfit, I went for a red sweater, which she got in an indie shop in Wales, some dark wash jeans from Mango, some red boots from We Don't Know Where, and some pearl earrings and a pearl necklace she got from the Doha Souk. I don't know what that is, but they're pretty. Monday we seem to have the same kind of idea, so I started off with his only pair of boots, which are from Clark's and actually really nice, his favourite pair of black jeans from Primark he wears every day, a black tee from Snap Inc, which has a cute peekaboo flower underneath, and a burgundy, it's burgundy Aaron, a burgundy shirt. And I really liked this outfit, but then yeah, we matched the whole day. <laughs> So for this second outfit, I went for a burgundy flowy top from H&M, some dark wash jeans from Mango, black boots from Miss Selfridge, a custom necklace also from the Doha Souk, and some earrings from an indie shop in Hitchin. Now this outfit is going to seem fairly familiar, and that's because it's made of most the same components as the last one, so it's the shoes, which again, very nice shoes. It's his black pair of jeans, and he actually added this chain afterwards. And then a zippy zippy top. This is from Boohoo. So for a more warm and sunny day, I went for a dress from Forever 21, some strappy sandals from Everything Five Pounds, and a pretty necklace also from Forever 21, and some earrings from I Am. Today, Aaron was lucky and got to work from home, so I gave him a super casual outfit, starting with the fact that I didn't give him his shoes. But I did give him some pants. Actually, these nice pair of grey-white shorts, which are from Primark, and paired it with this kind of green tee, also from Primark. So it's suit day, and I decided to go for a jump suit. See what I did there? This one's from Zara, and I paired it with some black heels from M&S, a blazer also from M&S, a custom necklace that says Elena in Arabic, which she also got from the Doha Souk, and some earrings, which she got as a gift. Today was actually fairly warm despite my outfit, so I was nice and gave Aaron the same shorts as yesterday and paired with a Primark shirt. I was really impressed this was Primark. It was so nice with this red and white flower detail. For Blade Runner Day, we had a few things that we had to bring as well as we wanted to stick with the themes from the film. So I went for this red top from Oasis, a kimono from Zara to fit in with the Chinatown theme, dark wash jeans from Mango, black platforms from Topshop, sunglasses from Spitalfields Market, a bracelet that she got as a gift, and this umbrella which she borrowed from a colleague because she needed one for the Blade Runner Secret Cinema. For Aaron it was pretty easy, I paired his only pair of shoes with his favourite pair of black jeans. Then his ASOS leather jacket fit really well, even though it's not a trench coat, which there are more of in Blade Runner, and we put it over this flowery shirt from River Island. And for the final day, I went for some red trousers from Zara, a white top which is surprisingly also from Zara, some blue fin flip flops, some earrings from a shop in St. Ives in Cornwall, and the same bracelet you saw earlier. For Aaron's last day, I put him in a pair of khaki pants, which he actually forgot he owned basically, because he bought them in Primark for a cosplay outfit, which I thought looked quite nice. And then I slung this black Primark shirt over a free Taco Bell shirt he got at VidCon. So what did you think of my choices? 
I liked some of them, some not so much. The all black with the khaki pants, I'm not sure how I felt about that one. I also wasn't too sure about the red one with the Nando's, no, Taco Bell. I mm, <laughs> don't know how I felt about that one either, but I really liked this one that I'm actually copying right now for the video. Yeah. Um, Secret Cinema was so fun, but just this outfit was something I would wear regularly. Yeah. Like this is something I would wear myself. It was quite handy that you had a leather jacket because I feel like that's quite Blade Runner anyway. Yeah, exactly. What about you? What was your favorite outfit that I chose? My favorite outfit, funnily enough, was the Blade Runner outfit as well. Yeah? Yeah, I thought it was quite an ingenious way of like combining the kimono because of the Chinatown. And I liked it with the really bright red and yeah, no, I really liked it. Also with the shoes. I hadn't thought of putting it with those like platform shoes, but just it makes the whole outfit kind of funky, so. I haven't worn those shoes in forever, I need to wear them more often. I feel like I did quite well with yours because you have clothes that work together in an outfit anyway, whereas I just kind of have a t-shirt here and a shirt here, <laughs> and then just always black jeans because I always wear the same thing. Yeah. If there's one thing that I think is severely lacking in your wardrobe, it's shoes. <laughs> yes. Not everything goes with one pair of shoes, as nice as those pair of shoes are. Yeah, they're really nice boots. And also because I always wear black jeans, I just know that the bottom half of my body is gonna look good either way. That was a weird phrase. <laughs> Still, I think that you could use a, a little bit more variety. Yeah. Especially because it's gonna get hot and boots, not so great. Yeah, I mean there's fur on the inside as well, it doesn't work. I need to find myself some summer clothes. Yes. Let's go shopping. The That's weekly the try weekly try. Shopping. Yeah, the weekly <laughs> try buying each other's outfits. You buy me, I buy you. Okay, we've got this. If you want to see that as a weekly try, make sure to let us know by leaving the word peanuts in the comments down below. Yeah, why not? And then we've also got all these socials where you can follow us elsewhere because we're interesting people. And there's a suggested video down here. Don't know what it is, but I'm sure you will like it because we're in it. Make sure you subscribe and we will see you next week. Bye! Bye.